Hi all, let's have a look at a fascinating and critical game from the US Women's Championship in 2017. So this is a final round game. Sabina Francesco, uh, Francesca Fuiza playing black against Opava <laughs> Verkut playing white. Excuse my butchering of, of names. D4 and Sabina played knight f6. C4, we have a Nimzo Indian. Uh, queen c2, very popular move, queen c2, black castled. Now c5, white took. This is uh, pretty standard actually, it's the main move. And the main move replies knight a6. And usually white plays now the move g3. I'll give you an example for those theoretically interested. This is the usual kind of stuff to expect. Where uh, that's what to be about equal. White needs to be careful in this position, not bishop f4, because there's g5. But uh, a move like queen e2, and that's fine. It's been seen before quite a bit, that sort of stuff. But here we see an unusual c6. I'd say it's slightly unusual because it encourages white to get a mob, encourages black to have a kind of mobile center. We see after taking g3, d5, it's a little bit provocative, it seems, from white to allow this, uh, this pawn center. And now after bishop d2 again, it's like provocation to push the pawns and maybe try and hope to exploit the weaknesses. But after knight e4, rook b8, black's got really uh, some pressure points like this b file. Uh, knight takes f6. The knight spends quite a few moves just to swap off with f6. Yeah, black's uh, pawns seem quite mobile here. After e5, you know, things like bishop f5 now. And then maybe even e4 later. In fact, uh, bishop f5. Bishop takes d2 is actually played though. h6 deprives the g5 square. And now this adventure with queen a5, which is a double attack, but it's responded to simply with c5. And there's no point white trying to win the a6 knight tactically. Uh, this is just in black's favor, this position. Uh, so we have b3. Uh, now e4, yeah, the center is just mobile. Uh, rook f e8 and now a very nice move though rook b6 so the rook is uh, well not only can swing over here potentially but also maybe even try and trap the queen we see that now after knight b1 maybe white is trying to provoke uh, e3 prematurely but we have queen e7 now uh, yeah after queen e7 what is black actually threatening? Black might be threatening uh, e3 in this position because the queen is in position for it to be a check. So this is not a problem, the hanging bishop. So we have white playing e3, which creates a concession on light squares. Black plays bishop g4. Now rook d2, but now knight b4 threatens to actually trap the queen with rook a6 and bishop d7. Example. If h3, this wasn't played, then rook a6 traps the queen. Yeah. So actually, this is getting really dangerous. The queen's location on a5 is just silly. The mobile pawn center looks a bit too provocative from white. We have e takes d4, allowing. I mean, the idea is clear that c5, it rescues the queen. You know, if rook a6, queen takes. But uh, downside, mobile pawn, it's pushed piercing into white's king position after takes queen takes e3 check critical position here is black falling to bits or is white falling to bits great move here rook f6 it weakens back's white's back row in this position doesn't matter about the c5 pawn there's not enough time to win material here white's king is in big trouble if white takes here she didn't but the back row is just you know terribly weak it's losing you know if this then here and it's going to be it's going to be mating so um white tried to play a defensive move rook g1 black to play what does black play here it's a fantastic move if i give you five seconds to pause the video you might want to analyze for yourself and see the move in its full glorious continuation glorious continuation a point to pause the video here.
black plays queen takes g1 okay now check so it's at least two pieces for the queen definitely worth investigating this position not too many move choices for white after rook g1 check king f2 again not too many move choices here rook f3 and white resigns here the king's getting mated if king e2 check you know discover check check and the rooks are combining very very well with this knight all the escape squares are taken so this is my yeah yep and if uh, uh, so that's king e4 yeah so either king e4 or king e2 just both lose basically yeah you see that the knight's taking two key escape squares as well yeah a really nice game and that won the championship the women's uh, championship so congratulations to Sabina Francesca uh, Fuiza nice fantastic finish to win a tournament that's how to do it in style that's really super cool comments questions likes shares appreciated thanks very much